Greetings and welcome to the 2023 Black Youth Achievement Awards hosted by the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Iota Upsilon Lambda Chapter and the Alpha Scholarship and Charitable Foundation. I'm Akia Turner, a weeknight anchor for the number one station in Richmond, Virginia, that's NBC 12, and previously a reporter and weekend morning anchor for WUSA 9 in Washington, D.C. It is my pleasure to serve as your mistress of ceremony again this year. The Black Youth Achievement Awards was established in 1978 and recognizes African-American students for their academic and other achievements in Montgomery County, Maryland. Students, in fact, are nominated annually by the Montgomery County Public High School counselors and are recognized in five different categories that will be covered later in the program. Now, 26 schools participate each year and nearly 3,000 certificates are prepared for the students and presented during the awards program. The theme of this year's event is Free Mind, Finding a Peace Within. And this year's theme also inspired by Tim's song, Free Mind, with a focus on mental health. And that's where the second part of this comes in, is the finding a peace within. Now, we would like to begin with a word of prayer by the chapter's chaplain, Ronald Johnson, followed by a welcome message from the superintendent of Montgomery County Public Schools, Dr. Monifa McKnight, and the 20th and current chapter president, Kevin Johnson. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this afternoon thanking you for your many, many bountiful blessings. We thank you for the students and their parents who have assembled along with this great fraternity. Thanking you, Lord, for those areas in which they have excelled in the arts, versatility, citizenship, academic excellence, and athletics. We thank you, Lord, that for those individuals who have nurtured these youngsters down through the years, the many, many, many educators here in the county who have given up their time and their resources and their learning abilities to share with these wonderful students. We ask, Lord, that you will bless them in their academic pursuits and all of the areas that they want to pursue. We thank you for everything in your name. Amen. Good evening. I am honored to welcome you all to the 44th Annual Black Youth Achievement Scholarship Awards. I wish I could be in the room with you tonight. This is a time when we all come together to recognize and celebrate our amazing students for the outstanding work they do throughout the school year. This year's ceremony has a long and rich tradition dating back to 1978. Tonight's awards recognize the achievements of MCPS African American students. To our students, we are all so proud of the hard work you've done to earn these recognitions in academics, athletics, and the arts. My message to you tonight, keep going. There is no limit to what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. Know that we are all here supporting and rooting for you each step of the way. I also want to take the opportunity to thank the IOTA Upsilon Lambda Chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Incorporated. Thank you for uplifting our students and the great work that you do in our school communities. For more than four decades, this chapter has contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarships to deserving Montgomery County college-bound students. As a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Incorporated myself, I know firsthand the important work and service Black Greek organizations have historically provided in education. Our students thrive when they have dedicated adults who are invested in their education and their journey to college. This year's theme and the focus on student mental health and well being is one that is near and dear to my heart. Making sure our students are socially and emotionally well is a top priority for MCPS. This is vital to their personal growth and future success. Again, we welcome you and thank you for being here for our students tonight. I hope you enjoy tonight's program. And congratulations to all of the students being honored this evening. I do wish you much success as you continue to navigate your academic career now and in the future. Greetings. 
distinguished leaders, friends, family, and guests of IOTA Upsilon Lambda and our great fraternity. My brother Kevin Johnson, president of the Montgomery County chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, seated here in Silver Spring, Maryland. I am privileged to represent the more than 180 brothers, what is affectionately known as the Monument Chapter, as we welcome you to our 43rd annual presentation of the Montgomery County Black Youth Achievement Awards, sponsored in conjunction with the Alpha Scholarship and Charitable Foundation, our nonprofit affiliate. This culmination event is hosted at the end of every school year to recognize the outstanding students in our high schools across all of Montgomery County. And we are honored to once again bring to you, our community, the opportunity to extend a hearty congratulations to those that aspire to be great. The Brotherhood has worked diligently to bring forth our offering to highlight the many successes of our incredible scholars. We know that the 2022-23 school year was the first full school year under our new normal as we settled into our daily routines and proceeded to encourage and engage in a pursuit of a conducive environment for success. Yet the ramifications of a global pandemic remain prevalent, as while we physically unmask to show our faces once again, we also unmask even more of the disparities that are preventing our young people to achieve their maximum potential. Of particular importance, the mental health of our students as they continue to experience the long-term impacts of such events as the COVID crisis, social unrest, and violence and aggression in our schools. Thus our theme for BYAA this year is rather timely, free mind, finding a peace within. As we continue to encourage our young people to strive for excellence and to represent all that we know has been poured into them, we must remind them that they are not alone. They have a support system to help with identifying that peace within, that allows for a keen and committed focus on their goals, that their village is here, standing by them to support their hopes and their dreams. So as we turn the page on another academic school year, brothers of our chapter salute you, Black Youth Achievement Awardees, for you have once again stood tall despite the obstacles. You've walked your path despite the challenges. And as you continue to find your peace within, you have shown us that our future is bright. Special thank you to our incredible team for their work on the event, all of our special guests participating in the presentation, and to our Alpha leadership for effectively guiding us on this path to a better tomorrow. And finally, of course, to you, our esteemed guests. We appreciate that you took the time out of your day to celebrate this occasion with us. So we graciously ask that you please enjoy our offer. Thank you for that. Next, we'll hear from this year's Black Youth Achievement Awards Chairman and Alpha Scholarship and Charitable Foundation Board Member, Michael Pierre, followed by Jason Johnson, a 2022 Paul Robinson Scholarship recipient. Jason graduated from James Hubert Blake High School and is currently a freshman at Howard University. After we hear from Jason, we'll receive a welcome message from the current IOTA Zeta Chapter President, Shane Richmond. Shane is a native of Fort Washington in Prince George's County, Maryland. He is a graduating senior at the University of Maryland College Park, where he will earn his bachelor's degree in finance. Congratulations. Shane is also the 2023 Mid-Atlantic Association of Alpha Chapters College Brother of the Year. A musical selection by the Montgomery Blair High School's MoCo Mini Combo Jazz Group will follow. Take a listen. Good afternoon and greetings, scholars. My name is Michael Pierre, and I'm here to welcome you on behalf of the Alpha Scholarship and Charitable Foundation of IUL, also as the 2023 BYAA Program Chair. Welcome to our 44th Annual Black Youth Achievement Awards Program. This is a time when we congratulate you and we recognize you for your outstanding performance in the arts, academic excellence, athletics, citizenship, and versatility. The Alpha Scholarship and Charitable Foundation recognizes your success, and we wish you continued success as you navigate the pathways of life and you seek your life goals. Your teachers, your family, your friends, they've all been a part of your support system, and we thank them as well. The theme for this year's Black Youth Achievement Awards program is Free Mind, 
finding a peace within. As you continue your journey towards success, continue to find your peace within. As your progress moves you through life, remember the world is yours. Keep striving with your hard work, your dedication, and your commitment, as well as your faith. Congratulations and welcome to our program. Hello, my name is Jason Johnson, and I was a recent graduate of Blake class 2022. And now I'm a freshman mechanical engineering major, math and comp sci double minor at Howard University. I currently have a 4.0 GPA. I was the recipient of the BYAA awards and the Paul Robeson scholarship. I just wanted to say thank you very much to the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity and the IUL Charitable Foundation for all their support. I just wanted to say again, congratulations to everybody who is a recipient of the BYAA award and strive hard and keep working. There's nothing in this world that you cannot do. So once again, congratulations, everybody. Hello, my name is Shane Richmond and I'm the president of the Iota Zeta chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, seated here at University of Maryland College Park. And I'm a senior finance major. So that means in these next two weeks, after we finish finals, I'll be up and out of here. I'll be graduating. And I, I want to congratulate all of you and you know our, our victory together of being able to, to graduate and actually go on to our next chapter in our lives. It's an incredibly momentous occasion, and I'm incredibly proud of all of you. I'm proud of myself <laughs> these past four years, uh, and I'm, I'm extremely excited to see what we all do um, in these next years as we continue to strive to be men of distinction and Black men of excellence. So there's a few things that I want you to consider or remember as you continue on your academic journey, and that's everybody's journey is different. So don't compare somebody else's journey. They may be doing these incredible things. They may be whatever. They may be in the, the position that you want to be in. Um, maybe someone around you gives them more praise than you do. Block all the noise out. Your journey is your journey. And nobody can decide how your journey is going to lay out and how it's going to play out. There's things you can control. And that's being able to have the discipline to get the things done that need to get done on time. But some things are out of your control uh, and circumstances and every, and everyone's going to get their chance. If you want it bad enough, you will get it. Your time will come. So just take your time. Keep going hard. Keep pursuing your dreams and your passions, whatever it is you want to do. Um, have people around you that that are your support system, your your best friends, your the people that, that want to see you succeed. Keep them close. Another thing is when I got to University of Maryland. One thing that I wanted to use my collegiate journey to achieve was I wanted it to be a training ground for myself. None of the mistakes that I, that I made while I was in college, at least, at least majority of the mistakes that I made while I was in college had a cost to them. Everything that I did, whether, whether that was learning how to be a better leader, whether that was learning how to be more disciplined, be a better student, um, endure the academic rigor that is here at the University of Maryland and all the above, I use this as an opportunity to really grow myself, push myself to my limits, know my strengths and weaknesses, know who I can hang out with, what times I can do things, how to set up an own, my own schedule for whatever. All of those things were implemented here at the university. So by the time that I graduate, when it does count and it does cost money when I make a costly decision, I've already been there before. I know exactly how far I can go and how far I can push myself. And so I implore you all to do the same. So once again, congratulations. Uh, let's turn up this summer. Let's have a great time. Um, and I just wish you all the best. And uh, I wish you all the best of luck as you continue on your journey. And for those that might be coming to University of Maryland, make sure you come talk to the Ida Zeta chapter of Alpha Alpha Attorney Incorporated or any Alpha chapter of any school that you go to. And I'm sure we'll be happy to help you with anything that you need your freshman year. If you want to get plugged in with the social scene, if you want to learn more about you know, how to build your financial or generational wealth, or any, do community service, whatever it is, we got you. So with that being said, once again, my name is Shane Richmond and congratulations and good luck.
introduce this year's keynote speaker, Dr. Lonzo Sasso. Dr. Sasso is a native of Vidalia, Louisiana. He is the National Executive Director of the National Association of African American Honors Programs, as well as the CEO of LCS Strategies and Alliance LLC. LCS is a strategic corporation that provides educational consulting, athletic player development, mental health, and urban suburban community affairs. Most recently, he has successfully worked with student athletes at Howard University and Delaware State University. Let's welcome Dr. Sasso. Hello, welcome. I am Dr. Lonzo Sasso of LCS Strategies. I'm here to talk about the song and the message from Free My Mind by Thames. This message includes a variety of things that I'm going to talk to you all about for mental health and mental health tools and strategies for youth. But before I go there, let me just give you a historic background of who I am. I am a counselor, a mental health advocate, a therapist, and also an athletic sports counselor. My experience in this field for 24 years has stemmed from working with students, parents, and athletes across the world, inclusive of DC Public Schools, Bishop O'Connell, Friendship Public Schools, HBCUs, and professional athletes. I was chosen to speak to you about some cardinal things that can help you free your mind. Those things are mental fitness to mental wellness. With mental fitness, doing the exercises, the tools, and the strategies will help you as a continuum to mental wellness. I'm honored to do this speech at the historic HBCU Alcorn State University, which is the first land-grant institution for blacks. But before I go deep into this presentation, there are some things that might come to you about freeing your mind, like just stay in focus, keep your minds uh, exercising, meditation, as well as emotional regulation. Now, as we get into the meat of this presentation, I'm going to be discussing four tools as a, our minds matter representative, there's four tools that we focus on for youth as a mental health advocate and a mental health adult leader. Those tools are help seeking, social connectedness, self-care and healthy habits, that's the mental fitness part that I talk about, as well as pro-social skills. Help seeking behavior and mental health, it's not just physical health. You have to seek help for mental health through an adult leader or a peer-to-peer -peer or a trusted adult to seek help to help you get from point A to point B and having a safe space to use and gain tools to help you with your emotional regulation process and dig deeper into your interpersonal effectiveness. Social connectedness. You have to create a support system to maintain your mental health and mental wellness with an adult leader, uh, a trusted friend, or a counseling practitioner that can help you with the tools and strategies you need to get from point A to point B so you can feel and be at your best self. 
encouraging self-help, self-care, being in a safe space, and creating healthy habits. This is a part of your mental fitness. Meditation practices for mental clarity, taking walks around the park, nature walks are very good, exercise routines, using kinetic energy, and when you wake up and or when you go to sleep. There are some recommended meditation practices and authorities that I use and I've helped youth with these practices. I encourage you to look up Deepak Chopra for mental health practices and meditation. Also, you can look up LeBron James who also has the Calm app to meditate before any big events any big uh, events that are coming up like test uh, instruction from test anxiety as well as uh, Kobe Bryant has an app that you can look on YouTube to give you some meditation practices and history of events of meditation that has helped them get from point A to point B in their overall day. I strongly encourage you to look up these practices for meditation and mindfulness and mindfulness practices. The goal is to be mindful at all times and to be progressive and processing the tools and strategies of being mindful in order to keep your mind well balanced and coping mechanisms that help you really get through some tough times and strategies. Pro-social skills. You got to create opportunities that equip you for appropriate peer-to-peer -peer support and is essential because youth are more likely to go to their friends before going to a trusted adult or somebody that mentors them or someone that they feel comfortable speaking with. Although uh, some youth have experienced challenges with facing an adult but being in a safe space to express themselves to help them. So pro-social skills and social connectedness it's a part of the well-being process to help you through various situations, various challenges, and various supports needed to help you with your emotional balance and your emotional regulation. If these situations become severe, um, I recommend you to free your mind and go to a school counselor that can give you some direction or a social worker at the school to start the process of helping you through what I call the three C's choices, chances, and consequences so you can help through those processes so in coming out of that process it's our goal as mental health practitioners to help you come out of it with the three E's energy, effort, and enthusiasm that you receive the help to be in a better place for your emotional regulation. And again, social, pro-social skills, self-care and healthy habits through mental fitness, seeking help and increasing your pro-social skills will help you navigate and free your mind to be socially connected with a support system that you create. It can help you free your mind and keep your mind free 
where you'll know the channels, the strategies, and the tools to help you be emotionally balanced as a young person to navigate this thing we call life. I hope that I have given you some tools and strategies to support you, to help you for your mind. If you need references for continued emotional support as youth, I encourage you to look on our website, www.lcsstrategies.com and ourmindsmatter.com. Now, our minds matter. Dot org. Again, my name is Dr. Sasso. I appreciate you. I appreciate giving this message to you to help you free your mind. Most certainly, I wish I could do this live and have more interaction with you. But I want to thank the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha for choosing me to speak on mental health and give you some tools and strategies to help you free your mind and be emotionally regulated. My time is up and I thank you for yours. Thank you, Dr. Sasso, for your moving words on mental health awareness. Next, we would like to provide a brief overview of the awards categories, followed by a recognition for BYAA awardees. As mentioned earlier, the students are recognized in five different categories named after prominent members of the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. That first category is the W.E.B. Du Bois Award for Academic Excellence, which is awarded to the student with a cumulative GPA of at least 3.5. The Duke Ellington Award for the Arts is awarded to the student with a GPA of 2.5 or higher and exhibits exceptional creativity or other recognition in either music, poetry, drama, painting, dance, or sculpture. That's the second category. The third category is the Martin Luther King Jr. Award for Citizenship is awarded to a student with a GPA of 2.5 or higher and is active in community service through school, church, or other organizations and has been recognized by a community service organization or exhibits school and or community leadership. The fourth category, the Jesse Owens Award for Athletics is awarded to the student with a GPA of 2.5 or higher and has earned an athletic scholarship, a special athletic award, a local school recognition, or county, state, or national athletic recognition. And the fifth category is the Paul Robinson Award for Versatility is awarded to the student who exhibits excellence in two or more of the following categories. That's a scholarship with a GPA of 3.0 or higher, athletics, the arts and school or community leadership. And now we do wanna present the award recipients for today's program. Take a look.
congratulations to this year's award recipients. Next, we will have a presentation of Alpha Wives Scholarship winner by Patricia Anderson, the president of the Alpha Wives Club of Montgomery County, Incorporated. The Alpha Wives were organized in 1971 as an auxiliary of the Iota Upsilon Lambda chapter of the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity, Incorporated. The club's objectives are to support the endeavors of the fraternity, provide leadership in charitable and social action programs, increase cultural awareness, and expand educational opportunities available to Montgomery Montgomery County students. For five decades, the Alpha Wives Club has actively participated in educational, political, and cultural activities in Montgomery County and donated over a quarter of a million dollars to local and national organizations and given numerous scholarships to academically deserving students from Montgomery County. Then we will have closing remarks from this year's Black Youth Achievement Awards Chairman, Michael Pierre, and stick around for a wonderful performance by the Alphas from the University of Maryland in College Park. Thank you so much for joining us. Greetings to you on behalf of the Alpha Wives Club of Montgomery County Incorporated. I'm Patricia Anderson, and I'm president of the Alpha Wives Club of Montgomery County Incorporated, which is an auxiliary of the Iota Epsilon Lambda Chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. For over 50 years, the women of the Alpha Wives Club of Montgomery County have made valuable contributions to local and national organizations, such as the Urban League and the United Negro College Fund. However, as a civic and charitable oriented organization in Montgomery County, we strongly support organizations that serve children and families in our communities, such as the Manor Food Bank and the Helping Hands Shelters. The AWC also sponsors an annual scholarship which is awarded to a deserving senior in a Montgomery County public school who will attend a historically black college or university. We are honored to join the Iota Epsilon Lambda chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity in saluting black youth who have demonstrated exceptional academic pursuits, character and service. And today, I have the pleasure of announcing the AWC 2023 scholarship winner during the Black Youth Achievement Awards program. And the 2023 recipient of the AWC scholarship is Gabriel Franklin, who is a senior at James Hubert Blake Senior High School. She's a member of the National Honor Society and has a 4.68 GPA. Gabriel will attend Virginia State University in the fall where she plans to major in elementary education. Congratulations, Gabriel. The 2023 book awards will be announced at a later date. To each of you who is receiving the Black Youth Achievement Award, the Alpha Wives Club joins the Iota Epsilon Lambda chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, your family and your friends in celebrating you. We acknowledge you and we applaud your unwavering commitment to academic excellence. And we wish you much success in your future endeavors. Greetings, and congratulations on your recognition for a Black Youth Achievement Award. I am Steve Ruffin, Chair of the Brigadier General Charles McGee STEM Scholarship Fund. I'm excited to announce that those of you that will be attending a historically Black college and university and majoring in science, technology, engineering, or mathematics can apply for this scholarship. Go to charlesmcgeestem.org. The application deadline is July 15th. General Charles McGee was a distinguished Air Force fighter pilot and a legendary Tuskegee Airman. He was a member of our chapter here in Montgomery County for almost 30 years. This STEM scholarship honors his legacy. 
To learn more about General McGee and to apply for the STEM scholarship, go to charlesmcgeestem.org. Thank you. Hello again. This is Michael Kier, your 2023 BYAA program chair. On behalf of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, the IOTA Upsilon Lambda Chapter, and the Alpha Scholarship and Charitable Foundation of IUL, we thank you for viewing our program today. The generous support of our community is what enables us to continue recognizing the best and brightest of Montgomery County, Maryland. Before we close, I'd like to give a special thanks to a few people. First of all, to Dr. Monifa McKnight, the superintendent of Montgomery County Public Schools, to Dr. Lonto Sasso of LCS Strategies, our keynote speaker. I'd also like to thank our recent Paul Robeson Scholarship Awardee, Mr. Jason Johnson, for sharing some words of encouragement as well as his appreciation. I also want to thank members of our planning committee, our communications team, and everyone who contributed behind the scenes to ensure our success today. But finally, I would also like to thank our mistress of ceremony, Ms. Makia Turner, for graciously accepting to return and host our 2023 virtual program. We know academic life isn't easy, which is why we take great pride and joy in letting you know that your hard work does not go unnoticed. This concludes our program, the 2023 BYAA program. Congratulations to our graduating seniors, to our underclassmen and rising seniors. Be safe. We'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Cannot pray. I need to find you.